What is going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Bobby Fi here to do my five and five. Still trying to get over the uh, million dollars that almost could have been in, in golf, but hey, we're going to get... We're gonna get we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there for one of them. It's hard to win a million in the DFS, so felt really cool to to have a real shot. And, and congrats to Sheets for finishing second. And I honestly haven't played DFS the last couple of days. I did do my stuff. I was trying to, but I uh, had a lot of practical stuff to take care of. So let's get into it. We're gonna talk about my plays of the day. You can see them up on the screen right now. It's a really tough slate, and there's gonna be a, a ton of things that probably change and uh, give us some value. But this is where I'm at right now. So. Let's get into it. Uh, Devin Booker, I think, is a phenomenal play. I, I think his numbers without Chris Paul are hard to ignore. I'm thinking he's getting 50 plus here. A huge portion of the time with upside on that as usage in the mid 30s last couple of games. I think that we're going to see a big game from Booker tonight. Hope it stays close enough to where he really can fulfill it. And if it doesn't, I hope he gets to 65 and three quarters. But I love Devin Booker here. Uh, he's one of my favorite plays in the slate. You could play him on both sides, but I have him more on DraftKings. Uh, I just think he's a phenomenal play. So then you've got the uh, the weird uh, value that we're looking at right now. For a 12-game slate, we can usually do better than this, but this is where we're at on this slate. So Rudy Gay, uh, Louis Sarr, and, and Precious Achua, yeah, you could even play all three of these guys together because there's so many good spend-ups. All of the top-end guys are like, almost all of them are in phenomenal spots for one reason or another. So I think you are kind of forcing these guys in with the intention of switching if we get better value and trying to backload as much as you can, although there's some really intriguing games early on. So these are three guys I'm using right now for value. You can throw in guys like DiVincenzo um, into the mix, I guess, as a, as a middle-ish value play, but it's really not all that beautiful value-wise. You can also throw in Kleber or Dwight Powell, but uh, I, I would prefer those guys a little bit more on FanDuel than I would on DraftKings at the moment. Mike Conley has been really good, as I sort of called out last week. They're going to start ramping his minutes up more for the playoffs and the stretch run. They also care a little bit about seeding, and they're going to try to win games. They've got a matchup with Chicago, which is not as easy as it has been because you've got a all-time defensive player of all time and our, everyone's favorite NBA player on the other side in uh, Alex Caruso. But is Alex Caruso really going to guard Mike Conley? I don't think so. Uh, it's part of the game, sure. But I think you're going to see a little bit more of him on Mitchell. And uh, I, I like Conley at 5,500 a little better than I do at the 6K on FanDuel. The spend-ups are really tough to, to, to do them. So I, I think you try to find certain angles. Like Giannis, I'll play, and I'll play some Sabonis or Fox runbacks. Jokic, I don't really have a great natural runback for Jokic. I just think he's a great play. Luka, which is the, 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 the great runback in Durant um, because you have no Kyrie. So not a great matchup for Brooklyn, obviously, but like, I think it's a really good spot to try to attack. So I will be mixing these guys in. If I had to pick any of them just as a one-off, it's probably Giannis or Jokic, but I really don't mind Luka or Durant either. So I'm, I'm really struggling with this. And then we get into the next tier beneath it, and I'm hoping we get some more value, which I'm sort of expecting that we will. Trey, Shea, Gildas Alexander, and DeJounte Murray, uh, all in a similar price tier. I uh, have it ranked in that order, Trey, then SGA, then Murray. And I think they're all terrific plays. I really like Trey. If you're going to want to run back in that game, uh, you got first of all, you can play Trey. You could also play Bogdanovich. You can include a lot of those other guys from the, the, the other pieces from, from Atlanta, including, you know, Bogdanovich, uh, Hunter, uh, Capella. I think they're all really good plays, just too, too good of a game environment. And then you have on the other side, my favorites would be Rozier, then Ball, uh, probably then Bridges, then Ball because of the position eligibility, but it's close. And I think that's a really interesting game. It's the first game of the night, so it's kind of annoying, but it, to, 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 to get your, your money exposure out early, what if we get a weird piece of anybody, any stud missing, and then everybody else in their team is awesome? But I think it's still viable because you could see 65 from Trey. You could see 50 from uh, uh, Rozier or Ball or Bridges. And I, I just feel like it's a really good game environment for both sides, so I want to have pieces of it. That's my favorite way to go. The SGA, I, I'm probably going to play him more with Murray and then just sort of like call it a day elsewhere on DK. On FanDuel, I might, I might actually have him a little bit higher because he's a little bit cheaper, but it's, it's tough. There's a lot of really good spend-ups tonight. Getting, speaking of which, it's not hard to get these guys in your lineups as much on FanDuel, and it'll probably be easier by the time lineups lock and even more so after lock. Giannis is the priority. Um, position eligibility, everything. Uh, I just think he's he's an awesome play at 11-4. Jokic, 11-3, that even speaks for itself. Though those are my two guys. I don't even put them in the same thing because I think you can play them both together. Then you get the gay pal Kleber. 
you know, the same, same sort of thing we've got, uh, you know, and I can include the same Powell and Kleber on DraftKings as well. Center spot's a little bit stronger, so I don't have as much interest in Powell. But anyway, but it's Gay Powell and Kleber right now are our current value placeholders uh, in my lineups anyway. Brandon Williams, uh, love the price, but definitely a bust path considering how much ownership he'll have. I still like him because he's a value saver for now. Again, we can always pivot if we get late news if you're not playing as much of that early Charlotte game. Uh, you can also get a, get weird. You know, I mentioned with the uh, spend ups over that you can get, you know, a Harden or an Embiid also. But I, I don't find those guys as much of a priority as I do the other spend ups. And then we get into the Trey, Luca, SGA, Murray situation again on FanDuel. Uh, again, I like it basically in that order. Actually, I think I would go Luca number one, Trey number two on FanDuel. It's close between those two, but Luca's got a little discount over there. And then uh, SGA, then Murray, that would be my order of doing it. But those are my main plays for right now. I will be live with Sheets at 545 Eastern time. Let's make some money today, guys. Let's get it back. Uh, 250K for first on DraftKings, 100K for first on FanDuel, the tournaments. Hopefully I win it. Hopefully you guys, you guys win all the other ones or come in second. Or even if you win in, I come in second. You know what? I can live with it. Um, good luck to everybody for, again, please like and subscribe and all that. And uh, I'm Bobby Faya for True DFS saying we will hopefully see you at the top of the leaderboards. Good luck, everybody.